Hey guys, uh, this is Kristen and Christine, and we're here uh, with another bonus episode for you. This month, we are talking about Gilmore Girls, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> for obvious reasons, yeah, there's a little baby Sam in there. Oh my god, he's such a baby! <laughs> he's such a baby, but he's still hot. <laughs> like, I totally would have had a crush on him yeah. at that age. Yes. He was... Like my type to a T. Beautiful. Uh huh. He's one of those beautiful boys, and yes. we see that in um. Well, because we're gonna discuss two separate episodes, um, because I had wanted, I had really wanted to be fair, and I really wanted, because I really hate. You've said that you hate Dean, Dean which is uh Jared Padalecki's character in Gilmore Girls, but I wanted to be <laughs> nice, and I was like, okay, what? Yes. What's a we're in a we're in a room with my dog and th- it's also like a storage room. Long story, but he's being ridiculous. Yeah. So yeah, why do you hate him? Because I haven't watched enough of them to know. I know. I know. That's <laughs> so, not fair. So from the two episodes you had me watch, I'm like, I love this guy. Great. I'm I'm glad. I wanted I wanted to pick you know semi unbiased episodes that showed the good side. Of Dean, and I feel like I did that. Totally, yeah. I mean, I can't imagine what else he does, but I, I'm into it. Great. <laughs> um, so it worked for me. <laughs> so, um, if you guys don't know, there's a show called Gilmore Girls, and it <laughs> came on a long time ago, way before Supernatural, and it's kind of just this really fun show. I would recommend watching it. It's fun. It's girly. My high school ex-boyfriend loved it. You told me about this. Yes, he loved Gilmore Girls. It's... And he was like in love with Lorelai. Like he would have married her in a heartbeat. Which, I mean, who cannot yeah. be in love with her? She's I totally get that. Amazing. I was in love with her by the end of those two episodes. Yeah. I felt like we had a lot in common. Yeah. I know. But <laughs> I we like, like be friends. terrible back spasms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Commonality number one. Back problem. <laughs> um... I know. I always really saw myself in, in maybe Rory um, watching mm-hmm. it because she's kind of like this, you know, uh, I don't know, but she has her demons and. Yeah, but she also, like, I just love that she thinks, like, she's pretty clear headed, you know, and she stands mm-hmm. up for herself, like, in all of these interactions yeah. with, like, her high school, her fellow high school classmates yeah she definitely does yeah she calls them out on their shit and she's just like what she's kind of introverted but like not enough to take it right um yeah she's not gonna put up with people's bullshit exactly and so the the two episodes that we watched um are both in season one uh so we get really baby jared padalecki in 2000 (laughs) the year 2000 guys what a time and oh when did um when did supernatural Air 2005? I think it was four. Okay. 2004. So like four or five years before Supernatural. Mm Mm-hmm. And the episodes are... I know. He grew up a lot in that short period of time. He sure did. Uh. (laughs) He sure did. (laughs) Um, And uh, the episodes are Rory's Dance. um, And then also the other one, Starcross Lovers. Um, I think there's more to that uh, episode title. But first, we're going to talk about Rory's Dance a little bit. Uh, it's, for for those of you who don't remember or have never seen, basically our main character, Rory, asks Dean, Jared Padalecki's character, to accompany her to a formal dance at Chilton. But the, lo- the lovely evening is spoiled when they fall asleep together after the dance, leading to a fight between Rory's grandmother and her mom over who has been a worse mother. <laughs> See, I actually... Ended up loving just the premise of this one because I feel like I've seen the story so many times where it's like the girl's first dance Mm. and with her boyfriend who seems really cool and they go out and then he ends up being an asshole by the end of the night. And that's how that story usually ends. Uh, Like he tries to make out with her or or like tries to have sex with her and she doesn't want it and it spoils everything. That's always how that story goes. And this one was different. It was like the opposite. Yeah, they were totally fine, and he was cool, and it was really sweet. Mm-hmm. But it was she just got in trouble with her mom, and that's totally understandable. And <clears throat> it, all of it was just so like plausible. Yes, yeah, it was like uh, because they end, you know, they end up falling asleep, and her mom freaks out because she got pregnant at like sixteen, mm-hmm. right around Rory's age, 
And so, um, uh, you know, she's obviously like... Projecting. Yes. She's totally projecting. Yes, she is. But I get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I totally understand that also. Um, I think I think the only thing that I didn't really love about Dean in this episode, but I kind of got it, I don't know, was that when Rory does ask him to the dance, he, he says, um, I'm not a really big joiner. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. And it takes her, like, a while of just, like, standing there silently <laughs> for him to be like, but I guess if you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. He was definitely trying to say no at first. Yes. It was a little weird. But I guess, I mean... That comes with teen boy territory or I guess. whatever. I was like, what, are you too cool or something? Like, I think why? he thought he was too cool. Like, He's like, do I have to wear a tie? Yeah. <laughs> what? Do I have to wear a penguin suit? It's probably what he should have said. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we we do know later on that he's actually very romantic um, because of like the next uh, episode that we're going to talk mm-hmm. about. But... Apart from that, I do my like one of my favorite Dean moments of like the entire series is that moment in the formal dance when um Tristan, played by Chad Michael Murray. <laughs> God. He's so much. <laughs> He's so much. And in these two episodes I was like, God damn it. Like you're <laughs> character is just the worst i know i know it's the kind of like worst. they told him um be as big of an asshole as you possibly can yes and then he really <laughs> went for it <laughs> he's like all right i can do that i can totally do that <laughs> yeah he's such an asshole such a dick um <laughs> so he does this thing where like he gets in front of dean or like bumps into him right <laughs> yeah, he totally like checks him yeah and he's like oh yeah i know your girlfriend blah 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 and he's like oh yeah i totally know who you are you're that douche who bothers my girlfriend she's told me all about you exactly and he's like ooh, like you know basically like guy stuff yeah they just start like he's like oh she told me about me you know he's like <laughs> sh- 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 shit like that and uh, so they basically almost get into this fight, and Dean says, or, or he's like, I'm not going to fight you, man. And then Tristan's like, why not? He's like, because I'll kill you. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. <laughs> no. Whoa. Escalated quickly. I love that. <laughs> it also felt like so Sam, too. Like, yeah. You know, like, good to boy. shut it down. But also, like, I got a dark side. Right. I'm I'm the boy from the other side of the tracks kind of feel. Yeah, totally. You know? Uh-huh. He's got street cred. Yeah. And uh, I loved that too. And I was like, dude, it's probably true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll fucking kill like, him. Like he's in this room with all of these like namby pamby like rich whiteies. Yes. And, and they're like the children so they're all super spoiled. And they don't know shit about shit. Like this kid mm-hmm. thinks he's gonna fight Dean. You're cute. He's yeah. gonna... He's gonna kill you. He's probably kind of like Draco Malfoy. Yeah. Where like oh, my arm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like when it gets down to it, he's like, "Hey, crab, Goyle, where are you? Yeah. Like, are you Where's fight? my muscle? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um. So I do love that moment. Um. <laughs> and it's funny though because like I I guess a part of the issue for me with Dean is they kind of like change his uh, character a bit. Oh really? He starts out as this kid. Who loves to read? Like, what is he reading that Rory well, recommended? He, um, Tolstoy? Oh, Anna Karenina? Yeah. Which, he read that? I haven't even read that. I've read that. I haven't. Um, and I'm an English major. But I, <laughs> no, and I, it was, it was funny because it was an English project and I was like, oh fuck, it was, she gave us a long list, pick a book, whatever, it's going to be your final project. And I couldn't pick and I read a synopsis of Anna Karenina and I was like, this sounds pretty great. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I picked it. And then she was like, ooh, wow. So do you know how long that is, my she's teacher? She's like, bold choice. And yeah. And I'm like, oh, no, I don't. And she's like, yeah, that's like, like, I think it's like 700, 800 pages. Oh, my God. So I had the longest book out of everyone. And I was like, that's what I'm going with. Like, I was too scared to back down. Let's um, do this. But I actually really enjoyed it. But I don't I don't believe Dean read that entire fucking book. 
I, I don't know, man. He was, like, talking about it. Like, he actually had... Didn't he have an opinion? He did. He was like, everybody's last name ends with ski. <laughs> Which is How true. How do you keep them apart? <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's, like, a reader. And he's, like, supposed to be this, like... I guess not, like, bad boy. But he kind of gives off those vibes because he's just moved from, like, Chicago. Oh. Is he just kind of, like, town. artsy rebel? Exactly. Okay. But then... He turns into just basically like small town um, all American boy in by the next season. Like they Weird. kind of they kind of change his character, huh. and then they bring in a new character that is like really the like bad boy? the bad boy. What? Yeah. That's weird. I know. So, like, they didn't really feel huh. Dean, but then also Chad Michael Murray was supposed to be like. Uh, stay on for a long time, but he had to leave because he got picked up for One Tree Hill at the end of season one. Oh, so he was only in season one. Exactly. Huh. So I think that's why, because they were like, well, we need to set up some sort of dynamic and then. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure you're right. Because if they had to, if that's about the time they changed Dean's character, they're probably like, "Mm, this will work better for us. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Otherwise, I mean, it's pretty cute. He goes to the dance with her. He dances to Mazzy Star with her, which is just super <sighs> sweet. Dude, he's super romantic, by the way. Like, none of my high school boyfriends <laughs> ever did shit like this for me. It makes me really mad. They need to get their shit together <laughs> and treat their girlfriends yeah. like this. Because mm-hmm. before they even got there, they were driving, and she was like, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't go. And he's like, okay. And she's like, or maybe we should. And he's like, okay. <laughs> That's classic me right there. That's so yeah, cool. <laughs> me too. But he's so cool with it. He's just like, whatever you want to do. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's great. Uh-huh. Let's do it. Whatever. Yeah. And then they get there too and he's like really attentive to her. Yeah. Like he's actually paying attention to her the whole time. And there was. And it's so sweet. That moment where her classmates, uh, she's not really friends with them. Yes. Come up. Yes. And, uh. Her name is Louise, and she's, like, straight up hitting Undine. Yes! In front of in Rory. In front of her, yeah. She's, she's like, hey. what did she say? She's like, um, you know, all the men in my family are very tall. Yeah. <laughs> and But after telling him, you're very tall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she's like, how how tall are you? And he, he says he's 6'2", which, oh my god. He's, he's already a giant. I know, and I think he does grow more. A giant baby. Um, so, but then what he does is, like, he wraps his arms around Rory. Yeah. Like, very intimately and Mm -hmm. kind of just show off Saying, like, hey, she's with me. Yeah. I'm with her. Instead of being, like, a clueless guy, like, (laughs) just just answering the questions, like. I'm 6'2". Yeah. (laughs) I'm 6'2", man. Uh (laughs) I'll probably grow taller, too. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, yeah, I loved that. They were just, like, close, and he was, I don't know, good to her. Yeah. And still, like, you know, I think he suggested, like, wanting to hang out after, and, like, let's go for a walk. And... Yeah, which is really romantic. Oh, and then there was the part, was that the one, too, where she was, they were walking, and she was, like, or you said something about him being her boyfriend. He was, like, what? Oh, yeah. And she's, like, what? Nothing. <laughs> Basically, like, are you my boyfriend? I don't know. And he's like, I am if you want me to be. You know, it was just really sweet. Yeah. So it's a, it's a cute episode also because it's the first time they acknowledge that they're each other's uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. Which is sweet. Totally cute. Um, And then we get to see them break up in the other episode. Yeah. That we watched. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, it's called Starcrossed Lovers and Other Strangers. Mm. Um... And it's, a, well, the synopsis for this one is Rory is touched when Dean makes an elaborate fuss over their three-month anniversary. What kind of, yeah, what kind of he guy He really is this? did, though. I don't know. He, he made down. it into a whole thing. <laughs> but the evening is spoiled when he declares his love for her and she doesn't give him the response he was hoping for. <sighs> Which, okay. First of all, he's clearly fallen hard very quickly. Yes. He's saying I love you after they've been officially together for three months. Yes. Which, in high school, I was telling people I love them by like two weeks. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's, I guess that's less of what I have a problem with because I think, I was like, oh, I've totally done that. But. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Like. It happens. uh But 
uh, <laughs> him having such high expectations for her to say something back so quickly. Yeah. Like, you have to be prepared for the possibility that they're not going to reciprocate fully right. at that time. Right. You know? He has to be but understanding just, of that. He just flew off the handle about it. He oh, flipped out. Yeah, he really flipped out. And that's what I have an issue with. Yeah. It's like his reaction. I understand his reaction to be disappointed and yeah, sure, maybe, maybe mad hurt. Yeah. and hurt. Yeah. But not like, you know what? We're over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> like what? You don't love me? We're done. Well, fuck you then. <laughs> <laughs> because obviously she cares for him. I mean, they had a, gr- they had just had a great date. Yes. Yeah, she just said it was perfect. Yes. Which started out um, with them going to dinner and him ordering her three different kinds of pasta <laughs> because she couldn't decide, which is very sweet. That is very sweet. And again, so us. Like, we're really... I, I can't decide. Mm-mm. I'm really indecisive. Mm-hmm. Me too. And Jose, my husband, would never do that. So that was <laughs> very sweet. I loved that. Um, Jose, are you listening? Are you Next li- anniversary. Can you build me a car, please? <laughs> what, are you, what are you good for? All you're doing is fixing my floors right now. Right. You're just building my fucking house right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it was very sweet, that whole dinner. Um, she, you know, she got a meat. I'm trying to remember what else happened at that dinner. She got a meatball for her mom. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> Lorelai was like, it's going to be like Lady and the Tramp. And you're going to eat and have, you know, one piece of pasta that yeah. leads you to a kiss. And then you're going to order a meatball and take it home. Yeah. And so she got the meatball to go. Very sweet. And she put yeah, the cute. meatball in the car. Poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> um... And then afterwards, they go to that festival, which, I mean, I, you've you've never seen any of Gilmore Girls, so Mm-mm. what did you think of all the townies and... It was hilarious. Okay. Yeah, I really, <laughs> I liked it. It's clearly like, it's hard to create a feel of a town like that because it just makes it seem so small. Yeah. It's itty bitty. Yeah. Everybody knows everybody. <laughs> um... But I liked all the characters. I forgot Melissa McCarthy yeah. is in it as Suki. It When I first watched it, I, it didn't hit me uh-huh. because she looked she different. Yeah. Well, and she's just kind of recently blown up. Like, it's not... She hasn't been a huge actress for a long time. I feel like she was on Gilmore Girls and then flew under the radar. Yeah. And then just recently, you know, really broke out. Well, and, and to clarify, like, I only... Saw Gilmore Girls for the first time like two years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so like she had already blown up. But, but yeah, like, you were like, I don't connect it. Who's this woman? You know, like <laughs> she I thought does Melissa look really McCarthy different. McCarthy was in this. Yeah, she looks mm-hmm. very because of the red hair. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, um, no, she does look totally different. And um, I liked her character. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole ennui thing was really funny when um the french guy who works for lorelei oh was like in such a he was like i'm just feeling this overwhelming all we and she's like what the fuck he's one of my favorite characters (laughs) i love him and then um that was in that episode right Mm -hmm. and then when she goes into the kitchen and sees suki and she's all down she's like i know this is weird i just feel on (laughs) we I was like, what did you tell her? Yeah. Um, so she was really funny. And then she's like, Lorelai was like, what's the opposite of ennui? And she goes, off we. I'm cured. <laughs> <laughs> Lorelai's too funny. She's, she's so great. They're really cute together. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I liked all the characters, really. Um, yeah. I couldn't really tell what was up with Luke. But. Okay. You know how you thought about him, yeah, or what he, I don't know what his deal is really. Yeah, because that's also the episode his ex girlfriend comes back into town and he's all like weird with her. Yeah, because I mean, um, he's secretly in love with Lorelai, obviously. But I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's not it doesn't take it. I watched two episodes and I can tell <laughs> <laughs> on on the first episode you could fucking tell. Uh-huh. Um. Um, no, you just also reminded me of my favorite, um, one of my favorite lines, um, uh, from Emily in the last episode mm-hmm. where she's like, you traded in my, my, uh, whatever candlesticks for a semi-pornographic <laughs> monkey lamp. <laughs> yeah. 
I love that. I love it so much. That was really good. She's Um, like, it's funny. Yeah. Which, understandably, it's not funny. No. That sounded very expensive. (laughs) Yeah. Um, so after this crazy festival where they're, they can't even light the bonfire, uh, Rory's Rory's taken by Dean to some junkyard, which is kind of creepy. Yeah. It was a little bit like, are you going to murder me? Right. And then, uh, it turns out, oh, and then he says, uh, have you seen that movie, Christine? (laughs) And she's like, no. He's like, or yes. And he's like, uh, it's nothing like that. Well, it's not like that. Yeah. (laughs) That was funny. Um, and he shows her this car that he's, like, building for her. Yes. What? Yes. Building her a car. Which is so cool. It's cool. I think it's not going to run. Like, it's probably not going to work. It'll be I, a failed venture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like if somebody presented that to me, I would be like, um, the, what are the safety regulations? <laughs> like... <laughs> Has this car been thoroughly vetted? Right. Does it have eco-friendly? Is it registered? <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but uh, but she's all excited even as she like gets in and pulls the d- car door completely like off. off. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's just very sweet until he says, "I love you," and then she says, "I don't know what to say," um, which is understandable. She's yeah dealing with her emotions and she wants to be you know fully committed to that before she says it yep so yep and i guess it came a little quick for her yeah it's just totally understandable he just so yeah his reaction it wasn't is good. not good Mm-mm. he just flies off the handle and he's like okay well let's just leave then right you know i'm done yeah because you won't say it back. And she's like, whoa, wait a second. You know, let's mm-hmm. talk about this. And he doesn't want to talk. No, he doesn't. He just shuts it down. Mm-hmm. It's not fair. Yeah. And um, and that's, you know, that kind of like ends the episode with, with them. Uh, Lorelai comes home after getting banged by Max and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, reuniting with him. And, you know, Rory walks in and she's just like, yeah, we broke up. So sad. I know. Poor Rory. Yeah. Yeah, I felt bad for her, but I don't he was just being ridiculous, so I was hoping that he would I don't know. Run after her. Yeah. And say, I'm just kidding. I love you. Right. Duh. Mm-hmm. Why am I breaking up with you? Mm-hmm. But they are sixteen, so Yeah. But then at the end of the other episode, it kind of happens, not because he realizes he's an idiot, but... Oh, wait, was that another one that I watched? Yes. I watched the one right after that, too. I think it was. Because I really liked that episode. I was like, I have to find out more about Dean. (laughs) So, his character sucked me in, I gotta say, you know. You love Dean. Yes, because of those two episodes, I was like, okay, I'm into it now. Mm -hmm. What else is happening? Mm -hmm. And then they got back together, and it was cute. Oh, Mm-hmm. So you watched like two more episodes, or I skipped the next one and then watched that one because oh. I only watched three episodes. Okay, I think I, I read the, the descriptions and I was like, "This sounds like a, a Dean heavy episode. This is well, something's happening here." The episode that you skipped, I really like because Rory and Tristan end up kissing. <laughs> God damn it! I know. Why didn't I watch that one? <laughs> but she ends up like crying immediately because she's broken up with her Dean. Uh, also, Tristan's a. Dick wad. I know. Ugh. But he was he was having a vulnerable moment. Mm. Whatever. What yeah, I know. That's dumb. Yeah. Um Okay. What was I going to say? Oh. No, I'm just just going to try and compare like Is that the one Sam where Sam and Dean, which is so confusing. Sorry. Oh, Sam no, 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 and no. Dean Gilmore. That's fine. <laughs> Girls Dean. Um I, I I kind of saw it in that moment, like that moment that I really like where he's like, because I'll kill you, you idiot. You know? I totally agree. Right? Because yeah. Sam can be like that. Like uh-huh. out of, well, we've seen his dark side, you know, <laughs> yeah. come out. Yeah. And then when they leave, God, I, how is like little teenage Jared like getting to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because they're leaving the prom or whatever this dance is. And he's got this coat that's got the. Um, it's like a leather jacket, right? I think it's just like a big black, it's like a black trench coat. Okay. 
and the collar has popped up around his face and he looks like a fucking like beautiful vampire or something. He's like yeah. so intense. Yes. And he just like pops his collar up and puts his coat on. And he's like, we're leaving, you know, and he's just like totally large and in charge. Yes. And it was, yeah, very like Sam when he's not fucking around. Mm-hmm. I do have to say, I, I, I prefer Sam's hair <laughs> because I mean... Dean, like the face framing, it's it's okay. I love it. It's okay. Yeah, I like that part. But when you turn to the back, he kind of has like the um, can I speak to your manager thing going oh, on. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's not great. He needed a better hairstylist. <laughs> he really did, and he got it on Supernatural. But it's yeah. just a little bit too short mm-hmm. for my taste. Mm-hmm. Um, now that we're into season five, he looks so. God, holy hell. I was writing. so good. Because we're going to talk about uh, episode three together yeah. today. Uh-huh. And I was writing literally every few lines, Sam is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. I know. I know. Like, I thought it was good in season four. And now that we're three episodes into season five, I was like, holy shit. I know. Maybe <laughs> I lied. Maybe so... that was not peak I Sam. I think season five is peak Sam. Yeah. He, he's, Man. um, he was Squeezing those lemons. Um, Boyne. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, as far as like the rest of similarities between them, I think it's kind of... I mean, they're both sweet, but I it's we, a little hard for me too because this might not be like totally representative of like Dean's character overall. So I'm just seeing the sweet parts and that kind of reminds me of Sam too. Yes. Um... But, yeah, I mean, I guess the similarities kind of stop there. Mm-hmm. And, um... And he does a good job. I thought he did a really, like, even though he was clearly young... Yes. He did a really good job of acting that character. I and, think so, too. And, you know, it's weird. I almost feel like his acting there is almost better at times than when he was first playing Sam. Oh, yeah. Maybe he was just getting used to Sam's character for a while mm-hmm. and didn't really know how to play that. Mm-hmm. But it seemed he seemed more natural in the Dean role. Well, and I I, I definitely think he was um, better than Chad Michael Murray. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, like I agree. if we're comparing the two boys, I mean, <laughs> it's, yeah, apples to oranges mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had forgotten. I had watched that show for just a little bit and forgotten about Paris. Oh, Paris. <laughs> She's my favorite character. She's crazy. I love her. <laughs> what did she say that's insane in this episode? <laughs> Fuck. I forgot, but... Well, she had gone to that dance with her cousin and then got all pissed off that Rory found out. Did you want people to know that I was my cousin and I had to pay him for gas money? She just yells it and everyone yes. hears and Rory's like, well, you just told them yourself. Yeah. She's ridiculous. Dummy. I know. She's so dumb. <laughs> um... That's pretty great. Yeah, I really love her. So thanks. I might watch more Gilmore Girls now. I hope so. It's a good fall show. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm gonna. I could see that. Continue to watch because it's. I love watching it in the fall. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, yeah. Their little like festival and everything seemed seasonal, and it was. I don't know. Yeah. Fun. They always have some great, um, fun in the fall and winter like episodes, but um. All right, well, we, we got that done. We got to see what all the fuss is about yeah. baby Jared. <laughs> so, that was fun. Yeah, was thanks nice. for that. All right, guys. Well, see you next time. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>